now we're moving on to what was at one time called the world's thinnest phone, the Oppo R5. Now, controversial because if you can see right here, the camera really sticks out. So is it really the world's thinnest phone? And then suddenly we hear another phone has come in without even the official release of this in India and another phone is already thinner. Now, I don't know about all of that. All I can tell you is this is supremely thin. I mean, you know, the joke is that I could shave with this, but I actually can. If you see, I haven't shaved in the morning and look how clean I'm looking from this side. So super thin phone, uh, nice ergonomics, the form factor is solid, it feels good in the hand. But once again, that same question, can it be that too thin is now finally too thin? Oppo R5 is seriously thin, too thin. At 4.85 mm, the slimmest smartphone in the world. But then its reign did not last for long. Vivo launched its smartphone which beats Oppo's record by 10 mm, just 10 mm at 4.75 mm. So again, how thin is too thin? The R5 is thin. You won't get the gravity of that statement till you actually hold it in your hand. The phone feels thin enough to feel fragile, fragile enough to make you want to put a case on it. The good news is that the construction is still solid. The metal that surrounds the body is sturdy and gives you a nice heft in your hands. Not much, but just enough to make it feel solid in your hands. There is something missing that took us by surprise, but one that seems necessary seeing how thin the phone is. We haven't seen a phone missing a headphone jack in a while. Oppo breaks that trend by creating a phone thin enough not to be able to fit a headphone jack in it. It makes sense as there's just enough room here which begs the question, do you really want a phone so thin that it strips away useful features? The R5 isn't a flagship and isn't being marketed as one. The phone houses a 1.5 GHz Snapdragon processor with an Adreno 405 GPU paired with 2 GB of RAM. It's a decent performer, able to handle most tasks thrown at it with efficiency. Oppo's Color OS skin on top of Android 4.4 is fairly lightweight though it does come with its fair share of bloatware. The 13 megapixel camera at the back is decent and can take good snaps under the right light conditions. But there are better camera phones out there in the expected price range that Oppo is going to retail at. The 5 megapixel front facing camera delivers nice selfies though. The R5 has a 2000 mAh battery, something that is far less than what a 5 inch phone offers. Again, the thin body just doesn't have enough space to house a bigger battery. On the flip side, the Oppo packages the R5 with rapid charge, technology that can get you up and running again really quickly. Oppo may not have won the arms race to the thinnest phone in the world, but it remains to be the thinnest phone we have ever seen. The phone has no 3.5mm headphone jack, has a smaller battery than phones this size normally have, the camera is average and it protrudes, it is a technical marvel and will draw a stare or two, but on the whole the phone skims the line between being too thin and being practical enough to use.